A recent survey has shown that most Australians who are on incomes of $200,000 or more do not feel wealthy, with many of them saying that they would have to double their salary to feel rich. Of those high-income individuals who were surveyed, only 8% felt rich. Similar surveys held in the United States yield similar results. For most American millionaires, their million-dollar fortunes are not enough. Only 13% of Americans with at least $1 million investable assets feel wealthy, with a quarter of them identifying themselves as middle class. So why is this? Well, here's a clue for you. People who are not satisfied now with their financial situation, except perhaps the very poor, will never be satisfied. They'll forever be wanting more. That's the genius of capitalism. The never-ending feeling of emptiness despite people having many more times material wealth than what they actually need. Even the very rich still want more. It's an insatiable desire brought on by a society that praises the very rich and denigrates the poor. How many more Porsches does Jerry Seinfeld need? How many more multi-million dollar cars does Jay Leno need to complete his collection? How many bathrooms does a person like Bill Gates need in his massive $127 million mansion? Apparently, the answer is 18.75. That's more than two bathrooms for every bedroom. I promise you, for the ultra-wealthy, they never feel like they have enough. And the same is true for people on $200,000 incomes who feel like they don't have enough. It will never be enough. This isn't about money anymore. This is about lack of self-worth. Research conducted in 2018 found that the richer we get, the less happy we become. The study published in the journal Nature Human Behavior found that in the US, a household income of greater than $105,000 or $95,000 globally tended to be associated with reduced life satisfaction and a lower level of well-being. Brooke Harrington, professor of sociology at Dartmouth College in New Hampshire, has spent many years studying and writing about the financial practices of the wealthy. She says the question many rich people ask themselves about their money is not, do I have enough to buy this expensive thing I want, but rather, do I have as much or more than these people I'm comparing myself with? Other research conducted by Michael Norton and others asked more than 2,000 people who had a net worth of at least $1 million, including many whose wealth far exceeded that threshold, how happy they were on a scale of 1 to 10, and then how much more money they would need to get to a score of 10. All the way up the income wealth spectrum, basically everyone says they'd need two or three times as much to be perfectly happy. Basically, as I said before, if you're not happy with your level of wealth now, you never will be. This is not an issue with money, but with your own internal conflicts. Some people on $200,000 will claim that almost half their money is taken away in tax. Well, technically, they only pay $64,667 in income tax here in Australia. It's a lot of money, but not really half. But if you mention tax, you also have to mention what tax pays for. I know, politicians' salaries is part of that. People on welfare. Regardless of how much we hate tax, we all benefit in many ways from it. If you paid no tax and kept all of your $200,000 income, you would still have to somehow pay for all those services that tax would normally pay for. Think roads, railways, hospitals, school fees, even private schools get lots of government funding, defence forces, police, and so on. Without tax, would there be private police forces and fire departments that only work for those who can afford them? Do you have to quote your credit card number when you call triple zero? It would be a bit of a mess, I reckon. Anyway, the point is, people who are dissatisfied with their current level of income or wealth will almost always be dissatisfied no matter how much they receive. This has nothing to do with lack of resources. This is to do with lack of self-worth. Unfortunately, all the important things in life are hard to measure. Things like, am I a good parent? Am I a good husband? Am I a good role model? These things aren't quantifiable, but money is. So sadly, people mistakenly ask themselves the wrong questions to try to quantify their self-worth. Am I making more money than I did last year? Is my house bigger than before? Do I have more houses than I used to? People mistakenly think that if they get more money and more wealth, this will somehow make them better people, happier people. 
but they're usually wrong. Instead of focusing on how much more money do I need to feel happy, we should all instead ask ourselves, what do I need to do in my life to be satisfied and grateful with what I already have? Is another expensive car really going to impress anybody? No. Are more houses really going to make me happier? No. My advice to you is to work on being the best version of yourself. Be a good friend. Be a good husband. Be a good parent. Get fit and healthy. Play with your kids in the park. Go for a walk with your wife or girlfriend. But if you think that money will make you happy, you'll forever be chasing it. You'll never reach the end. An extra million dollars cannot and will never make you a better person.